Yes, it is. Uh, of course, when you have a players who who play already have experience in the in the Euroleague, even one year mean a lot. But many of many of them play many years, so it is. I look at that as a big advantage. But it's just as they say on the paper. Don't mean nothing if you don't show that advantage in the court. Uh, first of all, what is mo most important for me as a player, they are great guys, which is uh, for one team crucial to be somebody, a good person. And beside that, they are great players, of course, they help us a lot. They bring everything what maybe we didn't have comparing to last season. Uh, with uh, Maxi Kleber, we're going to have athleticism and something well, like really, we're going to be, as the coach like to say, vertical. With uh, Dion Thompson, we're going to have a mixture of four or five. He can cover everything and he's an intelligent, big guy. Also with uh, Andreas, we're going to have energy. Well, maybe we some moments we didn't have. So I really look forward to the next season because the, with all three of them, comparing, uh, I mean, mixing me and John, putting the same team, I think it's going to be much, much better and very good. Very dangerous team. Uh, they can help a lot. Uh, Alex is a very good point guard. He has great offensive abilities and defensive abilities, where they show he's an intelligent guard who, even last couple of friendly games, he showed that he means a lot of team. Uh, he has an element what, which don't have many players in Europe on his position that's offensive rebound, and he used that a lot, and we need that. Uh, as far as the KC concern, of course, KC Rivers is well known in Europe. He's a great player, offensive, uh, he's a great shooter, he's a combo guard, he's uh, also both ways, offense, defense, very tough. He's a very, very good player and uh, position that well, we have 2 3 with Bryce Taylor and Jedovic is going to mean a lot to this team. Well, by the names, everybody, each one of the teams have a good name. Uh, but that's only the names. Everything is, as you know, everything is possible. Uh, for example, in the Euroleague, last 10 years, Serven Azvezda, Red Star, he have nothing. It wasn't even Euroleague. But as you see, last year left a huge mark. They played great. So everything is possible. It just depends on the, of the situation and season, what kind of team they're going to build. Uh, of course, Fener is Fener. That's good. Uh, your Red Star is, of course, tough there. You have uh, Russian teams are extremely good. There is no, I mean, differences between this season and that. They always put a good team. Uh, Strasbourg, anyway, no matter how you put, they're going to surprise anybody, somebody, Bayern Munich, of course. I, I think that even this season we are much better than a lot. I really hope they're going to, we have quality for at least final eight. So, you know, everything is possible. Honestly, it is not like cliche for answer, but that's really, uh, everybody can beat everybody, especially in this group. Uh, very, of course, like it was last year and like in every other team, the, Fans mean a lot to you. Uh, there is a basketball, is it true? There is a sixth fans are a sixth player. Uh, when you play tough games and uh, home home and event, I mean home court advantage is very important because everybody rely on that that you're going to win that game. That you need they counting on the home plus who you're going to win on the side. Uh, fans and really important, uh, especially in our case here because we have a good relation with them. We really play much, much better basketball with them.